A lot of people ask why we continue to immunize against diseases that are no longer present in the United States. And the very simple answer is because we immunize to protect ourselves from the possibility that these diseases could come back if we, if we quit immunizing. So you can look at it as we are immunizing not only today for our children and for ourselves, but also for our future grandchildren and their grandchildren. So we are immunizing for uh, today and tomorrow. A lot of diseases are no longer a threat in the United States that we currently immunize against, but that is because there's a saying that the world is becoming smaller, meaning that because of international travel, uh, people traveling to other countries, other people from other countries traveling here, people relocating to other countries, or people from other countries relocating here, that those diseases that are no longer present here are present in other areas of the world. And if someone is here that could be unintentionally carrying a disease and they come in contact with someone in the United States that has not been vaccinated, then that is the possibility, giving that disease the possibility to spread. Preschools require uh, that children, according to their age, be current on their DTaP, polio, hepatitis B, pneumococcal, Hib, measles, mumps, and rubella, and chickenpox vaccines. On top of that, uh, when a child is going into kindergarten, between the ages of four to six, they need a booster dose of DTaP, polio, measles, mumps, and rubella, and chickenpox. Children are now required to have two doses of chickenpox before they can enter kindergarten. And on, uh, further on down the line, when a child is going into eighth grade, they are now required to have a booster dose of Tdap, which contains the same components as what they received younger, just in a different composition and that protects them against the tetanus disease, um, diphtheria, and pertussis, which is whooping cough. Parents can receive immunizations for their children uh, in several different ways. If they have private insurance uh, through an employer-sponsored plan that covers immunizations, then they need to go to their, immuniz to their private provider, uh, be it a general health uh, practitioner or a pediatrician to receive the immunizations for their children there. If they uh, carry that type of insurance, that it's an employer-sponsored private health insurance, but it does not cover immunizations, then we consider them underinsured, in which case we are able to give those immunizations here. Uh, then as far as children that are covered through the state plan, through Medicaid, are completely un uninsured, or of American Indian or Alaskan Native heritage, they are able to receive vaccines through the uh, Vaccines for Children program and we are able to give those here. We are by appointment, so we do ask that parents call to schedule an appointment and that number for our immunization line is 636-949-1857. If people are looking for more information on vaccinations, they can visit the St. Charles County Department of Community Health Public Health Division's website at health.sccmo.org. And there they will find links that are available to look for further information on vaccinations. They will find the days that we do hold vaccination clinics and our hours for the clinics. If they're looking for further information on vaccines in general, they can visit the Centers for Disease Control website, which is cdc.gov.